one might think that the Volterra project is for really young professionals, really people that are very serious about uh, getting into business of music and get, having an international career. And in a way it is because um, apart from the master classes, the, the business of music seminars and the physiology requires, um, attracts people that are really interested in doing something more than being amateurs. And I think in the process of, of choosing students, what is extremely important is the motivation letter. And we're um, looking that for people that are interesting, that are artists in, the, in their soul, that there are experimenting, that there are curious, that they want, they're not interested in going to show off and impress, that is not the place to do that. That they're open to learn and change within a week. Uh, this is the first time that uh, we bring on board three young, enthusiastic people. They're all alumni of the Volterra project. And uh, they joined because they really believe in the project. They've seen themselves, how it changed them and how it made them richer and gave them a lot of information they needed at the time. And um, for us, it's, it's wonderful to have them because they bring such fresh and enthusiastic ideas. The Voltaire project in that way formed for me like the starting point of what became a big journey in this kind of research and uh, I met a lot of people here I got a lot of information that actually through the months following the Voltaire project kept on helping me and, 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 and was basically the, the things I worked on for over a year uh, and that is two years ago at this point I came back to the Voltaire project, I was invited as one of the three assistants um, and I also had uh, the pleasure of playing one of the introduction concerts which was a new concept this year uh, that Antigone created to have her Volterra project alumni and young guitarists to have an opportunity to play next to internationally acclaimed artists with established careers. Chamber music was not part of the first editions of the Volterra project, but uh, very soon became apparent that uh, we needed to incorporate that for several reasons. Um, apart from the obvious reasons, a reason that is fantastic to play with your peers and you get to know uh, them not through so sharing your everyday life with, but also through music and what brings you here in the first place. The other reason for us was uh, we wanted to include every single student at the final concert because choosing the best prepared pieces was basically against the very grain of the Volterra project, which is a non-competitive workshop. If we had to create anxiety of who's going to be the best prepared to play, I mean, that would beat the whole point. And it has been a great success. We've been the, the highlights of the whole concert would be the chamber music pieces just because they really get together, they really rehearse it, they prepare it very well, and then they have a blast on stage. Well, the location is um, paradise. <laughs> I traveled the entire world. I haven't found a better place. The location is uh, a cross between a Van Gogh painting <laughs> in the south of France and, and, a, and a Leonardo da Vinci backdrop for a or a Botticelli painting is fantastic. It's like we're walking into a picture. Well, one of the main goal of Volterra project since the beginning was to bring the classical guitar into the territory. And sort of a, a graceful way, the only way we know is our music, communicating it and bringing it to the audience 
in order to thank for the hospitality of this land, to ho the hospitality of, of the people, was to bring our music outside what we're doing here. And over the years, we brought them, brought it to really beautiful places. The last, uh, the location that we've been using for the last few years, and they, they start being a constant point of reference, are two: uh, the fantastic, amazing Roman uh, fortress Rocca Silana, which is on the top of Tuscany. You just get up there, and overlook the entire, entire Tuscany, in a magnificent place. That offers also a, a tiny, a very beautifully acoustically hall, and then the the Palazzo dei Priori in the in the main Piazza of Volterra, which is an amazing place in itself. It's been a fantastic experience. Um, it's been an amazing, you know, multicultural group of people here. That's that's uh, uh, providing a wonderful education. Um, it's a very diverse faculty, which you know, all of them have very unique insights to provide to the students and it's, it's just been an amazing community and it's it's I think the unique thing about the project at least from my experience up to this point is that it's everyone is at you know a, a specific stage in their life and career but it's it's such a supportive group that you you know you find that the group is progressing collectively as a whole and it's, it's a really amazing experience to be a part of the fact that we also take meals together we set the table together I mean it comes down to even just you know the subtle nuances like that, that just, it, it promotes this wonderful atmosphere among the group. So that's, that's been one of the joys of the whole project. Um, well, I think this week's been really awesome, mainly because, because it's such a small group of people, everyone's become really close very quickly. And that's been, I, for me, it's been quite unique because I haven't been on a festival with so few people and I haven't made such great friends with that quickly and that's been so nice and to connect over a similar interest as well. I think because it has been such a mind broadening experience I will need and inspiring and intense experience I need some days to just settle down and think about all the things I've heard here. The main reason why the, the Volterra project uh, is so unique in my opinion is that because the students are our objective. The whole, the whole concept is tailored to their needs. And we're all here in a way to, to help them, to learn about their, their journeys, to hear about their troubles, to, to make them feel comfortable, to inspire them, to ease their way into the professional future. And, um, and they feel that, I mean, from the moment they arrive, they feel that. And it is what they need. And this is why they keep coming back. I really think that um, within the world of the classical guitar, which is a very particular world, the Volterra project is for me like an oasis of, um, let's say, very open musicianship, where it doesn't come down to very obvious or, or um, quite um, like one-dimensional features but where all the aspects of a musician's life but also of a personal life come together and where she has created an ambient where everyone involved teachers and students get to learn from each other for like 10 days in a very open atmosphere so nobody is afraid to ask anyone else and everyone tends to help out each other and to create that for 10 days a year i think that is really a unique thing within the guitar world i don't know of any other kind of project that exists in that way and that for me is the, is the big value that people are brought together and the possibility is created to just really share everything we have got with each other everyone learns in the voltaire project